Logan Kane here, and this is episode 10 of Julima. Last time we ended with me being attacked again after I beat the guys, because, yeah, glitches. But, I... wow. I have an incredible lag now. That's awesome. Anyway, this game... this game could really use an overhaul on in the lag department. This is ridiculous. You know, is my computer even plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged in. I, there's no excuse for this lag. It's all in the game. But yes, last time we took out the guards at this end of the end of town. And then I went to rest and I fought him again. That was annoying. And you guys didn't have to watch it. I think... Can I... No, I can't defeat them. That's the connection between the two areas, I think. So I defeated them again, went and bought food, rested up, and during the fast-forward times in last episode, I realized that if I kept the barley, I can turn 40 of them into a day's worth of food. It might be better than the 50. Uh, gold. I also noticed that these guys leveled up, so let's level them up. What do you got? What do you got for me, baby? You're doing swords, right? I might just keep going with swords. A little bit of armor training? That'd be good. Do you need more energy? Yes, you do. You don't really need more speed. I think you could use more strength, though. You could do a little bit more damage. Fast reflexes, what does that do for me? Evasion by two, that's pretty cool, but... I think she'd be better off just leveling up stuff she already has. What is aimed strike? That sounds cool. Attack rating improved by 20, that's amazing. Does this improve my attack where... This is weapon hit chance up? Yeah, you know what, you're gonna get agility first. We'll level up your swords one, only cost one. What else do we get? What should we do? Perception? No, that's stupid. Maybe fast reflexes. Bodybuilding. Eh, that it's all too much it's all too much. Bloody strike, what does that do again? Bleeding damage and increased by three points. I, maybe I would like to have another attack. Wounding strike. Wounds caused by the weapon are increased by one. Attack rating improved. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get a wounding strike. And then I'm gonna also level up my power strike again. That way I have a lower cost spell and yeah. Well, ability, I guess, I guess it's not a spell. It still uses energy. Who else leveled up? Ding on. You're a fun one. You leveled up. You need more energy. There's no question about it. And speed. So what do we got? Pole arms? That's three. Three to level up the pole arms. Daggers. Who would use this guy in the front row? He would just crash and burn. Evasion up. Hit points. Yeah, he doesn't have any hit points. That's that's true. Who's Talit? The other bow guy? And this one, the divine guy. I don't know if I want to really upgrade anything. That guy hit. That guy looks awesome. I'm gonna save points for him. But I think I might actually get. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. That's all. I'm not gonna get anything. Go on. Ooh, Gazgula is leveled up. Gazgula, I like you. You're so awesome to me. You do so many awesome things. More, more of both of those, please. Although your constitution could probably use some help. You know, she's actually... No, I want her faster. I want her faster. I want her faster. I want her fast. What am I doing? What am I talking about? So what happens when I level this up? The freeze length goes up. That would be very good. Get a little bit of a stun. Do I want to level up stone arrow? That's going to use more energy. What's shocking touch do? One enemy on the front row. Huh. Ooh, that has a stun. You know, I'm going to hold off on the Icy Touch, because this, as it is, has a 3 to 5 second stun. That would also be a 3 to 5 second stun. I guess it'll be the same skill. Just shock instead of... I think I'd rather have... It seems that when I hit somebody with fire afterwards, it it's not good. Yeah, we're just going to leave her like that, too. That's good enough. Wasting enough time here. So what do we got over here? That's... All right, we already cleared out over there. Hey, there's the troll. The troll is right there. The difficulty is titanic. Can I even beat him? We all saw what happened when I fought that those other guys that are titanic difficulty. Just slaughter me. Oh, isn't that an ugly dude? Oh, I thought he had a penis for a second, but no, he had loincloth on. Look at that face! That looks... I don't mean to be rude, but... No, I, you know, I'm not even going to say it. That'd be... His head doesn't look like it fits his body, though. He looks like an orc. Here. 
and he looks like some sort of wildebeest here. Well, let's, I guess, stab him in the junk. How much will a freeze do? Ice touch. I want to hold him back. That didn't do anything. I may have pushed him back here. All right, ding on. Let's get... Really? I have damage? Or did he do that? I don't know. Let's... Let's call, let's call her. What are these fives that Nanatharas and Nazgala have? Well, I don't think I'm winning this fight. I'm glad I saved right before we did this. I'm bleeding? Did he hit me? I don't understand. Did I need to rest or something? Well, we'll find out after I die here. Because that's what's going to happen. Oh my gosh. That does way too much damage. How am I supposed to beat this guy? I'm just going to attack. Because I wanted to see if the stun did anything, but... Of course, didn't land it. I just pull in Raznet. What else am I going to do? This is the troll, right? Maybe this is somebody else. Maybe I need to go level up. I don't know where I can go level up at, really, but... Yeah, he's, he's the ogre. He has way too much health, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna die here and then reload. <laughs> he's just slaughtering me. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why do you even move? What was the point of that? You just really want to go after Magal by yourself? Hey, ding on. Let's, uh, let's pull in Velvet, just for the fun. Just for shits and giggles, we're gonna pull in Valakan. And she's dead. Why does he have a thing on his... F oh, I wanted to see what the thing did. Oh, well. It was like he had a wound or something. Well, goodbye, Dingon. It's time for you to die. Well, anyway, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna cut here, because you guys don't care about the rest of this. So we've learned we can't defeat him by a long shot. So what I'm going to do is speed it up and we're going to go out that other way and see what's over there. Actually, before I do that, I think I'm going to go try and... No, these guys were kicking my ass up there too. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to train. Huh. Well, I'll be back. And we're back. This game feels like I'm playing an MMO back in the dial-up days. My character just kind of shoots backwards every once in a while. Who's this guy? Maybe he doesn't want to fight. Or maybe he's going to call me a traitor. On the road to Nebros, you encounter a masked man who is running towards Valgaran, as if pursued by death itself. Stop! What happened? Why are you running? Or what are you running from? Whatever. The man is surprised and looks back over his shoulder. Seeing nothing, he calms down a little bit and stops just in front of you. Between breaths, he begins to talk in a low voice, almost whispering. The soldiers. The soldiers of Ningroth. They're everywhere. Why are they chasing you? They're not chasing me. They pursue anyone they can find on the road to Nabros. Ningroth has moved all of his forces out of the castle. They patrol the roads to Valgren, Vialak, and the Rasmora. They place checkpoints on the roads to stop all traffic. And what do you... I like I like acting like my character is a complete idiot while somebody's whispering to him. He's yelling. And do you know why they're doing this? You seem to be very well informed. They're behind your mysterious mask. Why did he add that? That's weird. According to what I've heard, there's a group of people from beyond the Great Sea who are looking for the prince. And apparently, they had no qualms about killing his men in Valgrim. For some reason, the powerful Nagarath fears this mysterious group from faraway lands. All of his army is looking for them. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Damn it! I see that there are curious eyes everywhere. Curious and treacherous. And tail... And tail. And tell me, is there some way to get through this region? Some way to avoid the guard posts and the patrols? Hmm. You'd be safer... F Would you want to go through Nabros? You'd be safer in Belgrade. That's my business. Can you answer my question? Information is gold, my friend. I can help you for a hundred gold. Very well. Here you have it. The information better be worth the coin. Avoid the roads, especially the entrance to the south of the castle. You can go around the forest in the Bros. That zone is not as closely watched. It is the prince's private reserve where he hunts wild beasts. If you go through the forests, 
Keep alert for the enormous Gotoros. The Gotoros are preferred game by the prince. You should also be on the lookout for the Corancios. Their terrible shrieks can leave you unconscious and undefended. To the north, you are able to withstand the if you are able to withstand the toxic fumes of the smoky hills of Vilak, you can reach the north entrance to the castle. Thank you for the very Damn it. Thank you for the very Thank you for the information. I will keep it in mind. On the way to Nabros, I met Taladin Longhand, who is fleeing from the forces of Nangroth. It seemed that Nungros's entire army has set out from his fortress to patrol the surrounding lands. Taladin advised me to not to take the main roads. Instead, I should cross through the forest of Nabros to the north, and then go to the Smoky Hills to reach the north gates of Castle Nongorov. I have to go, my friend, but not like to be captured by those bastards. Good luck, Taladin. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Taladin shakes her hand, then continues in the direction of Valkyrie. You quickly realize that the masked thief has robbed you while you have been talking. So I lost 50 gold. Okay. Maybe I can go pick him up. Maybe he's in Velgron right now. And I can go capture him or something. Turn him in. Or use him to my advantage. But I think what I'm going to do is not go through the forest. As I was warned not to do, I think I'm going to march up straight to the front gates. How will that work out for me? I don't know. Hopefully, it works out better than I expected to. I expect to just be slaughtered mercilessly. Mercilessly? Mercilessly. That's what I'm going with. In either case, I do want to explore a little bit. Oh, the lag is awful. Do not enter private game reserve of Prince Nogroth. I don't know why I said that like that. I felt like it. Oh, I better not enter. I'm going to follow follow this road and obey that sign. What is this? What is this? Give me. I want you. I want you. Uh it would be wise for this lag to stop. Oh, difficulty titanic. I guess I am not going to go that way. Where did my mouse cursor go? There it is. Let's just run over here a little bit. And then we're going to find some herbs. Judging by the sounds you hear from beasts hidden in the foliage, the forest of Nabros is a disturbing place. Let us see what we can accomplish here. I almost feel like I should stop recording. But nothing's happened. I can't record with nothing happening. There hasn't even been a proper fight, except the one I got slaughtered in. Alright, what is over here? Nothing? Is there going to be nothing this whole time? Oh, a couple of things to harvest. That's all I've found so far. And this thing is... What is this thing telling me? A great number of enemies. I'll probably be attacked soon. <laughs> what is this? Do not enter the private game. Come on! Piece of shit. I guess I evaded that guard post. So that's the guard post. They're not standing in their tower, they're just standing in front of it like idiots. Oh my lord, just go over here. I want to continue exploring the forest. I can't just leave it unexplored. Because I would not be me if I did that. I must press on into the forest. Ooh, ravens. I'll fight a thing of ravens. I fought two of them once in one. I'll fight this one. Hey, baby. Let's, uh, let's get a little stabby stabby at my 58% chance to hit. That's sad. That's terrifying. What's my wounding strike? Attack rating by 4, attack rating by 6. Let's go for a powerful strike with a 60% chance. Because if it hits, it's going to do a lot of damage. And goes, voila. And a stone arrow. Stone him. Get him stoned. 16 damage. That's probably the only thing that's going to hit him. Ooh. Gwalin, with the low damage, or the low something. Accuracy. Manages to, <laughs> manages to hit. Do I call Volvet? Nah, I'll call Nunlet. Let's try and get some heals in. Try and get Nantaros to be able to attack. Although, from the looks of it, I might have to heal Gwalin with him. We'll see how much this... Ooh, the bleeding was cured. That is fantastic. Just a regular attack, because it's probably going to block anyway. And now. Actually, let's go for an Icy Touch. I don't use it very often. I want to see how much it helps. It does a little bit of damage, and it pushes him back a couple. But both of these characters aren't very good at damage. And Magal's pretty cool. I'm just going to stab. There's no, 
There's no reason not to at this point. Although, I want him to gain some frickin' experience, so... Gain some experience, guy. And you, finish that off. Thank you. That is most excellent. Hopefully somebody else leveled up. Okay. Somebody else did level Two people leveled up. Awesome! Now I'm just think maybe I should just talk in falsetto. Nah. Maybe I should just talk really high and, you know, awkwardly. Nah. What do you need? You don't really need speed anymore. Agility is still important. And strength. And level up your... Do I want to have her be... <laughs> I forgot I was doing that. So, one enemy in front... Oh, that says axis. What? What? One enemy in the front row. Including those located in the back row. What? Target one enemy in front row. Huh. Whatever. Whatever. More perception. What's quick strike? That sounds cool. Perform a stri swift strike against an opponent. This allows the character to act again. Earlier than he, he would... She? Damn game. I'm a she. Magal's a she. <laughs> this allows the character to act again earlier. Blah, blah, blah. Action is 10% power. Cost 3. Attack rating up. Well, that's interesting. Is it just the next attack? So... Hmm. We're gonna get lock picking. That seems good. Trap disarming. Now this quick strike is tempting, but she has like no energy. I think I'd rather have higher dagger damage. Which that just ups the attack value. It doesn't really even do damage. It, which is good, but she has a really high attack value anyway. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab what's arm what's aim strike? Attack rating by twenty. Okay. Greatly increase attack rating, which improves its accuracy and the potential for bleed and stuff. Quick strike is I get to attack again sooner. Armed is I get to attack better. You know, I'll go with aim strike. So I'll wait on that. I'm not going to waste any more time. Just, you're done. Nanataros! Go in. Do you have a good... Do you actually have a good thing? Cure wounds. Cures up to ten wounds. That doesn't seem necessary right now. Mass stun relief sounds cool. Regeneration? That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Could probably use more armor. Although, that's really expensive. Let's get your... You need more hit rating. So let's do agility and strength. More agility? Yeah, that, that sounds good. I should probably do energy, but... That's what I'm going to do. And there's something else I wanted to do, but... Now I'm thinking about it. Let's rest. What else did I want to do? Oh, right. Aguala. Oh, did I sell... Oh, okay. There we go. Can you wear this yet? Yes, you can. Awesome. Nantaros, can you wear this yet? Come on. Come on. No, you cannot. How much are you slowed? Oh, a lot. Okay, you're gonna... You're gonna stay over there. And just to make sure I wasn't being stupid, that's 30 and 25. That one's 10. Okay. Yeah, we're going to finish up this little forest area. I think it's going to end. Oh, I thought that was a gigantic monster, but it was a tree and some herbs. And we'll end it at the exit. Oh, that's cool. It's always good to have more food. Come on. Come on, game. I'm guessing this is empty. Harvest that. I think that's it for this area. So yeah, that's it for the big 1-0, episode 10 of Zulima. If you enjoy this video, go ahead, leave a like. Likes are always good. They help ratings. Although I don't know if anybody else is really playing this game. So I don't know if it matters. And subscriptions are cool. I like seeing that number go up. But yes, thank you much. Enjoy.